Good day, everyone. I am Ms. Maria Yor Vargas, APLE teacher. In this video, I will discuss the lesson two for just making for grade seven or grade eight, obtaining measurements. So first, let's have the content standards, performance standards, and the most essential learning competencies of this topic. So first, let's have the content standards. Content standards. The learner demonstrates understanding in carrying out measurements in dressmaking or tailoring. Performance standards. The learner independently carries out measurements and calculations based on job requirements. And for the most essential learning competencies, take accurate body measurements, read and record required measurements, apply the systems of measurements, Perform simple calculations based on the job requirements. Demonstrates accurate reading measurements. Assess the appropriateness of design based on the client's features. Read specifications. And apply the principles of design and color harmonies. So, let's get started. Once again, Lesson 2, Obtaining Measurements for Dressmaking for Grade 7 or Grade 8. Proper tool is essential in taking body measurements. Parts of body to be measured can be taken in horizontal measurement, vertical measurement, and circumferential measurement. Horizontal measurement, it is taken from the left of the figure to the right. Vertical measurement, it is taken from the top of the figure to its base. So once again, vertical is from the top to its base. Circumferential measurement, it is taken around the body. At this moment, I will show you the proper ways and how to measure the different body parts. First, neck. Loosely measure around the circumference at the base of your neck. 2. Bust. Lift your arms to the side. Measure around your body, crossing over the fullest part of your bust. The tape measure must run directly over your nipples and across your shoulder blades on your back. 3. Bust to bust. Measure from your one nipple to your other nipple. 4. Upper bust. Measure around the torso directly above the bust line. From armhole to armhole, 8 cm down from the neck. 5. Lower bust. Measure around the torso directly under the bust line. 6. Waist. Measure around the waist at the narrowest natural waistline point, allowing two fingers between your waist and tape measure. 7. Hips. Measure around the fullest part of your hips. As a guide, this is often 20 cm below your natural waistline. Stand with your knees together. 8. Shoulder to bust. Measure from tip of the shoulder to the center of bust or nipple. 9. Front shoulder to waist. Measure from tip of shoulder over bust to natural waistline. 10. Shoulder to shoulder. Measure across the back of neck from socket of one shoulder to socket of the other shoulder. 11. Shoulder to neck. Measure from base of neck along top of shoulder to the shoulder socket. 12. Down center back. Measure from nape of neck to natural waist. 13. Back shoulder to waist. Measure from tip of shoulder to natural waistline. 14. Across back. Measure from armhole across back to armhole, positioning tape measure 8 cm down from nape of neck. 15. Full back. Measure from side seam, 
under armpits to side seam across back, positioning tape measure 4 cm down under armpit. 16. Sleeve hold. Measure around the shoulder under the armpit. 17. Bicep. Measure around the fullest part of the upper arm. 18. Elbow. Do a fairly loose measurement around the bent elbow. 19. Overarm. Measure from outer shoulder socket on outside of arm with a bent arm to the wrist. 20. Side seam. Measure from under armpit to natural waistline down. 21. Under arm. Measure from outer shoulder socket on outside of arm with a bent arm to the wrist. And lastly, upper arm. Measure from the outer shoulder socket on outside of arm to crook of elbow. There are two units of measurement that can be used in taking body measurements. First, we have the metric system and an English system. Metric system. It uses millimeter, centimeter, and meter. English system uses inches, feet, or yard. Metric system is an internationally agreed decimal system of measurement created in France in 1799. The international system of units is the official system of measurement in almost every country in the world. It is based upon the metric system. The units of measurement commonly used in dress making are meters, centimeters, and millimeters. So you can convert metric unit of measure to English unit of measurement. Just use this conversion guide. From inches to centimeter, multiply the given by 2.54. From centimeter to inches, multiply the given by 0 0.393701. Feet to centimeter, multiply by 30.48. From centimeter to feet, multiply by 0 0.0328084. From yard to meter, multiply by 0 0.9144. From meter to yard, multiply by 1.09361. From inches to feet, multiply by 0 0.08333333. From foot to inches, multiply by 12. From foot to yard, multiply by 0 0.33333. From yard to feet, multiply by 3. From inches to yard, multiply by 0 0.02777778. From yard to inch, multiply by 36. From millimeter to centimeter, multiply by 0 0.1. From centimeter to millimeter, multiply by 10. From centimeter to meter, Multiply by 0 0.01. And lastly, from meter to centimeter, multiply the given by 100. So, let's have two examples using that conversion guide. First example. Convert 100 centimeter to inches. Solution. From centimeter to inches. Multiply the given by 0 0.393701. 100 is the given times 0 0.393701 is equals to 39.73. Round to two decimal places. Therefore, 100 centimeters is equals to 39.73 inches. Another example, convert 5 feet to centimeter. Solution, from feet to centimeter, multiply the given by 30.48. 30 
So 5 times 30.48 is equals to 152.4. Therefore, 5 feet is equals to 152.4 centimeters. So, that's it. Once again, we discussed the lesson 2 of dressmaking for grade 7 or grade 8, obtaining measurements. I hope you learned something. Once again, I am Ms. Mariani Arvorgas, PLE teacher. Thank you so much and happy learning.